Hey, JB here. Welcome to the vlog. I'm excited you're with me. Uh, today is one of those days where I actually been down a little bit, uh, not feeling the best, so I'm taking a little time to relax here and 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 get rolling again. Uh, that's part of what I'm doing. But we've got some a great question from Wendy about really getting the year started right and feeling overwhelmed with the goal setting and everything. So we're going to hit this today. We're going to have some fun with that. So let's get this thing started. Let's do this. Okay, welcome back. We're in the office. We're rocking and, and we're going to answer a question from Wendy. And as always, if you want to leave me questions, that's awesome. I'm trying to do a lot of content here every day, putting this energy out there. More and more people are watching, which is cool. Thank you. Um, we're going to keep doing it, but questions help me build content. Especially when I'm not out running around and doing things and putting a bunch of video together like today when I was a little bit under the weather. So doing this every day, even when I don't feel that great, I got to do it. So here's the deal. Wendy, Wendy put in a comment here that says this. It says, Wendy says this. I'm very excited to get 2017 going in the direction I want it to. I just got my Sacred Six book, which is awesome. I listen to Morning Coach every day. But I'm feeling a little overwhelmed with all that I have to do in the next three days. I'm hoping to crack open the book today. But if you had to give a quick and dirty to-do list, what would it be? Would it be get a journal, write down goals and the whys behind them and start tracking, fill in the rest as I go? So that is a great question. I think there's a lot of us that, you know, we get kind of stuck in, you know, what is the first thing that we need to do, especially when it comes to this New Year's preparation. So ultimately, when you're doing the right thing, reading this book is the first step. That's going to give you the, the plan, the outline uh, to really get focused in on what you need to. It's going to tell you step by step. Uh, but that's the, the first thing that's really good. And listen to Morning Coach. Every day, start your day off. You're, you're doing the things you need to do. Now, as far as planning goes, um, what I would like you to do is start off by understanding what your mission is going to be. And as you read in the book, the mission is the, the next life experience that you want to experience because we're going to build around that. Now, I will tell you this. If you haven't done a values exercise, which you're going to do in the book, in the back of the book, I have a lot of values listed in the, in the, the back here in the, in the appendix. And the idea is to understand what's important. So the first two things that we need to accomplish before we even get to goals is we need to get clarity of what it is that we're going after and what's important to us. For example, when I was in corporate and doing, you know, the, the uh, my career, you know, I went to school, did my MBA and rose up through the ranks. I thought I was doing what I was supposed to do and I was setting goals and achieving them, but I was miserable. I was unhappy inside. And the reason that I was unhappy is because my value of freedom was getting taken away as I had to work 50, 60 hours a week and travel all over the world. It was glamorous, but it wasn't what was important to me. So what I want to help you do then is I want to help you really work on this idea of, you know, what is important. That's the first thing. And, and once we establish that, then everything else just gets a little bit easier. We can set some goals. We can, um, you know, work on, 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 you know, what's important at that point. So step one, and this is the question, is to read the book. You're doing it, right? So we know what the plan is, the sacred six. Step two is let's identify a mission. What are we going to go after this year? What's really important? And it can change, okay? So it's fine, but it is the overall plan that we're going to be working with. Let's get some values in place so we understand what those values are, you know, what, what's important to you. Then we're going to set some goals. So that's a great place to get your journal and you can, you know, as you know, I use a moleskin and, you know, if you, and the reason I do that is if you write with a pencil, you write from your heart. If you write on a computer, you're writing from your mind. So depending on what you're trying to accomplish, a lot of times writing on the computer is good because it's coming from your mind. But if you want to connect to your heart, make sure you write with your pencil. Get a journal. Right in the mission, right in the values. We're working on our journal, so you'll be able to purchase one from us soon, the Sacred Six, which is cool. But right now we don't have it, so you got to kind of make your own. And then we want to start getting the goals in place. So I do agree that having the goals and the whys are the most important thing. In fact, as you know from listening to Morning Coach, the why is probably the most important thing. 
But until we understand what that next experience is going to be and what's going to be important, this is where it breaks down. And this is where most people get stuck because they start setting goals that they think are going to bring them happiness, just like I did most of my life. And when they don't find the happiness, they actually get miserable and they just feel frustrated. And they're like, I'm hitting my goals. What's going on? This stuff isn't working. But the truth is, they haven't sat down and thought about what is my mission? What is, what is the next experience that I really want to accomplish? And then not only that, what is important to me? What are the values that I hold dear to myself that are really important uh, to me at this point? Then we can start setting the goals, but we can't st skip that process. Again, when you're starting the book, so you're going to read all about that. It's really critical in the first, first chapter, but don't feel overwhelmed. Look, this is your life. And as I say in the book, you know, a lot of people spend, I mean, literally years planning their wedding, right? Years. They want the perfect dress. They want to have the perfect, and that's cool. I'm totally cool with that, right? But here's the issue. Most people don't plan any time on their life. So don't be overwhelmed. It's totally cool. Look, if, if you know, think about this as a, your life. This is, a, this is forever. So don't be overwhelmed. Take it day by day. And just continue to do the basics, like listen to Morning Coach every day, you know, read the process, trust the process, and it's going to start working for you. But that's really where I would start. I would make sure you've got a really solid mission and you really got some values in place so we can get those goals really aligned with what you're doing. And you're going to learn about alignment in the book. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much, Wendy, for that question. If you have questions for me, please put them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Or you can email me at info at morningcoach.com. And make sure you're listening to morningcoach.com. Just go over to Morning Coach. You can find out all about that at morningcoach.com. But I'm excited. I'm going to go relax a little bit here, kind of get through this little little cold that I got or whatever it is. I'm, I, I never really get unhealthy. I'm just feeling a little tired. So I'm just... You know, my energy is usually at a 10. I'm like at an eight today. So I, got, I want to get back up to a 10 and relax a little bit uh, and, 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 and get back to my normal flow tomorrow, get out there and rock and roll it. But uh, if you got any comments for me, leave them below and I'd love to hear from you and I will answer those questions, all right? So let's go out there and make it great. As always, subscribes, uh, comments, thumbs up, likes are great and I'm going to keep bringing you this energy. Have an amazing one. This vlog is over. Oh, 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 oh,